Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to the adventures of Sammy Skint Bobs. Now I'll make a little introduction about Sammy. He's a totally fictional character that I've made up in my head. It's only a small head, it's got a small brain, but I'm hoping you're going to have fun with this. Uh, Sammy is a 22 year old lad and he was brought up in council estate in Bolton, Lancashire. Had a normal childhood, had two loving parents, normal school life, but when he was 16 he left school with no qualifications. Didn't do any exams or anything, but he got accepted into college. Now his parents were so proud of him being accepted into college because he was the first person in the family that had ever gone on to further education. So as a gift for him, they treated him to an intense course of driving lessons. Now Sammy failed the first time he took his test but he passed the second time so he had something going for him he had a driving license he continued on his painting and decorating course and uh, bought himself a small car with what little savings that he had at the end of the painting and decorating course 20 years old and he decided to try and go into business doing painting and decorating but unfortunately business wasn't good and it fell flat at this time he decided that he was going to go and try his luck in another area another town so he moved to Manchester now he moved to Manchester with one of his mates and they rented a flat but thing didn't turn out quite as expected and he found himself on the streets. We've been sleeping rough for about two years and then a complete and utter stranger passerby gave him two pound and told him to go and buy a scratch card because he felt lucky. Sammy wasn't one, he just wanted to get a warm meal and a drink, but he took the advice of this stranger. This stranger told him which shop to go to and which card to buy. Premonition. He said he'd had a premonition that this card was going to be a good winner. Well, Sammy took this card, scratched it, and it was a £5,000 win. Sammy'd never had this much money in his life. And he decided he wanted to get off the streets. But what did he do? Did he go and rent a flat with it? No. As any young boy, Sammy was into cars, fast cars, and motorbikes, and he always thought that his life was going to be on the road. So Sammy decided to take his um, his theory test for his HTV. He passed that with flying colours. So the next step was finding a driving school that would take him because he'd no fixed aboard. Luckily enough he found one. He took his intense course of lessons in his HGV and lo and behold he passed first time. Anna was ecstatic about this. Absolutely over the moon. Well, as soon as he got his license, the first thing he did was to contact 
big mother trucker agencies. Now for a few weeks, Sammy didn't find any work with them. Um, he'd paid all this money for this HTB license. He'd done his CPC license, and then there was one job came up with a small firm but it was only driving a van but to get some money in his pocket Sammy decided that he was going to keep he had it and drove this van for a couple of weeks for this firm and then he progressed up to his class 4 to get a bit of experience in lorry driving then his class 2 which gave him a bit more experience of bigger lorries well after he'd been driving for this agency for about 6 months getting steady income he'd found a place to live but this place was in Liverpool he'd been on dating websites and Sammy's into big girls and he was registered with a dating agency called Plenty of Flab where he met Fat Sam so Sammy had visited Fat Sam a few times and the four kids he was quite a bit older than him and he eventually moved in with her so he told the agency that he was moving to Liverpool and hopefully the opportunity to drive HGVs would be a lot better there behold the first job is the one that we're on now and it's taking oil filters to Carlisle Sammy's happy about this well what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow his adventures tell some stories of Sammy And we're going to see where it gets him. Now, normally in Euro Truck Simulator, you have a mode where it's uh, you can earn a lot of money in a few jobs. But I've decided that I'm not going to do that mode. I'm going to make it more realistic. Uh, I'm going to make it harder for Sammy mean, to start his own firm up. Which means that the jobs that he's going to get is in reality mode where with his first job to Carlisle he's going to get paid 126 euros 
God, there's going to be a lot, a lot of jobs where that uh, just agency work, where he's not got his own truck, he's driving the truck for the company that he's driving for. But what I'm going to try and do and make it more realistic is that when he gets to his destination, bitty, I'm going to try and take the next job from the place where he's at, the company that he's at, and I'm going to make them as short as possible. It's going to be the uh, the shortest distance, or it's going to be the least money. Because I don't want to make these videos too long. So I want you all to sit back. You're going to be the passengers in this little adventure. Hopefully it's going to go well. Well, most of these videos are going to be like 10 up to 20 minutes long. Um... But it's not going to be too... But we're going to tell some made up stories, some fictional stories of Sammy. Uh, based on some people's life experiences. Uh, people that I know, people that... You know, it's, it's like a fictional book made up on people's life experiences. So if there's anything that you'd like to discuss, you know... Uh, leave me a comment. Something that's happened that I can turn and twist and make it a lot interesting, a lot more interesting for people. Well, with that, I'm hoping you're going to enjoy this series. It's something a bit different. Something I'm not used to. I'm not a fictional writer or anything like that. I've got no writing experience. I've got no. All that's happening is it's coming out of my head. Well, let's just carry on. Let's enjoy this series with Sammy. And let's see where the adventures of Sammy Skint Bobs takes us. <laughs> 